my name is Richard Clark. I live at 1117 Swan Lane in Machapongo, Virginia. Okay, um, dear supervisors, I stand before you tonight to ask that you and our law enforcement community enforce the law of the land as it now stands and to resist any attempts to change it illegally or by political means other than that of a constitutional process. Uh, which has been repeatedly upheld by the Supreme Court of the United States of America, incidentally, that process. Um, the Second Amendment of the United States Constitution, as you so very well stated, guarantees every citizen the right to keep and bear arms for the protection of their lives, their liberties, their state, and their country, and it does so without restriction. It makes no mention of any restriction whatsoever, and I would point that out to the board. Further, it states that that right shall not be infringed. Additionally, the 14th Amendment to the Constitution states that no state shall make or enforce any law which shall abridge the uh, privileges or <coughs> immunities of the citizens of the United States of America, nor shall it, any state deprive any person of life, liberty, or property without due process of law. This resolution, as it's proposed in Bill 16, does all of the above, which it should not do, nor deny any person within its jurisdiction the equal protection of the law. And that is also going to happen if that is passed. All right. Um, I'm not very used to public speaking, I'm afraid. Uh, the, to change the United States Constitution, or the Virginia Constitution for that matter, requires an amendment, and there is a process, a correct process for this to be done by. And if this is what the public and the legislature really wants to do, then I would urge them to do that. Otherwise, I don't see how it can possibly be legal for them to just pass a regular law and expect to override both the Virginia Constitution and the United States Constitution. Further, um, you know, as you've also stated here, uh, Mr. Chairman, uh, the Virginia Constitution mirrors the uh, Constitution of the United States on the Bill of Rights. And likewise, it grants its citizens the right to keep and bear arms for essentially all of the same reasons. Now, as uh, the police chief of uh, Exmoor pointed out in their meeting, and I believe his name is Mr. DiMartino, if I'm correct, I'm not very familiar with him, but he pointed this out, and I would call everybody's attention to this, that United States Code, Title 18, mm -hmm. Section 242, makes it a crime to willfully deprive a person of any right or privilege protected by the Constitution of the United States of America. And that's exactly what I feel like, you know, is going on in our legislature. We have a bunch of people funded by people out of state, New York, Mr. Bloomberg, and et cetera, who are, in essence, willfully on the verge of depriving everybody in this room of their gun rights. All right, none of these, you know, time-tested and repeatedly upheld rights and laws have been changed, modified, or restricted firearms ownership. Neither have any changes been made to them by the constitutional process, nor have such changes been upheld by the Supreme Court of the United States of America yet. I am asking you, you know, not to break the law or ignore the law, but rather to enforce it as it exists now by the passage of the Second Amendment resolution before you and oppose any attempted tyranny being imposed upon the citizens of the United States of America or the state of Virginia. Now, I know that sounds a little radical to some of you, but that's exactly the way I view it. And I'm a man of few words, quite frankly. The laws in this matter, I believe, are quite clear. They have been upheld in numerous court rulings and precedents as well as the Supreme Court of the United States of America. And any deviation from these laws as they stand is not only illegal, but it's against the principles our country was founded upon. Your 
duty as our representatives in government, as well as that of our law enforcement community. Well, is to govern justly according to the upheld standards of law and the supreme laws of the land, which I will point out to everybody in this room, is the Constitution of the United States of America. It is the supreme law, and it has not been changed. And I urge you very respectfully, please, to pass this resolution. Thank you, Mr. Clark. Appreciate Thank it. You. Thank you.